is the third time the charm. Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. I got another magic mystery power box from Walmart. MJ Holdings' latest scam to milk us out of our money to try and hunt for something that probably doesn't even exist in there. But anyways, I've opened two of these. Both of them have been pretty poor. Uh, maybe third time's the charm. Maybe we'll get something cool in here. Uh, these do advertise a revised booster pack on the top, and they say, look for randomly inserted chase pack, seated 1 in 10. They also show a Masters 25 pack, the Time Spiral Remaster, which we've gotten in both of them so far, so I expect to get another one in here. On the back, they say, Spiral into the Past with Magic the Gathering Mystery Power Box. Each box contains five randomly assorted booster packs and two rare promo cards. Look for rare chase packs randomly included. And they show a Vito and a Nyx Lotus as the promo cards. We've gotten two Atali Primal Storms in both of these that we've opened. So I expect two crappy Atalis in this one too. So awful. They put Atalis in all these promo packs. There's so many of them floating out there. They're never going to be worth anything. Um, well, maybe in 10 years. But probably not. So <laughs> they show a Dominaria, Hour of Devastation, Throne of All Drain, Ravnica, Allegiance, and Time Spiral Remastered. And of course the revised pack with a little blurb. On the back, uh, we got Ravnica Allegiance on both the ones we've opened so far as well. So we got Ravnica Allegiance and Time Spiral. We did get a Dominarian one, so I think these are probably their 1 in 10 chase packs, uh, most likely, like Throne of Eldraine, Hour of Devastation, Dominaria, and maybe the Masters 25. There might be like one or two revised packs that they bought from the secondary market, because they say right here from the secondary market and repackaged for retail. So some of it's purchased from the manufacturer, some of it's from the secondary market. So there's a good chance that uh, if there is revised packs anywhere in any of these in the entire world, they are uh, bought secondary market and they're searched. The revised packs can be searched because this white up here, you can uh, you can push the cards up and you can see the, the title of the rares and uncommons in the packs. So all revised single packs probably have been searched. The odds of finding a non-search revised pack uh, just floating around is pretty much impossible these days. So don't buy loose revised packs. Let's break in here and see if we get anything exciting, but I doubt it. Looks like I just wasted uh, $90 of my money, so I can show you guys to not waste your money on these. <laughs> all right. There we go. Yep, no revised pack I can see already. Looks like the same same stuff we got in the last couple. So Midnight Hunt Pack, of course. Um two Atali Primal Storms again. Total scam. Uh Throne of All Drain Pack. Uh Dominaria Pack our Time Spiral Remastered and a Theros. Oh, Theros Beyond Death. I thought it was another War of the Spark. We got War of the Spark in the first two. Alright, so they are pretty random, but they're all Mostly newer sets. Um, you know, you got to get really lucky to pull a big pull in one of these sets to actually make it you know, to where you get anywhere near your money back, which probably not. So let's start with the Midnight Hunt because that's, that's the least amount of value of all the sets again. All right. Let's see what we get in here. There are some good cards in this set. I do like this set. Is that backwards? Yep, that card was backwards. Okay, weird. All right. That's been happening a lot with these newer sets. Malevolent Hermit, a Benevolent Geist in the back, and an Ooze Token, and that's it. Uh, what's next? Let's do, well, I guess we'll do Theros. We'll go in order of when they're released, with the exception of uh, <laughs> the Time Spiral Remastered, because that's probably got the most chance of getting anything big in it. Uh, Thassa's Oracle, that's not a bad card. And a Gorgeous Plains. Um... Throne of El Drain, we'll try that one next. Then we'll do Dominaria, and then we'll do a Time Spiral Remastered there. And what do we get? What do we get? There's some great cards in Throne of El Drain. Hushbringer, yeah. Decent card, but not worth anything. And a common foil and a human rogue. Okay. All right, Dominaria, here we come. Dominaria, I believe, is the last set to have any Richard Garfield influence at all, so was a great set because of that, but let's see if we get any value out of here. Four Bears Blade. Nope, don't think so. <laughs> don't remember that one being worth anything. I could be wrong. I haven't looked at Dominator Prison in quite a while. But. All right, Time Spiral Remastered. Come on, give us a big hit. There are a few big hits in this set. Um, hopefully we'll pull one, but I don't know, the last couple haven't been good. Hey, a Flagstones. 
And a pan harmonica. Okay, we actually got a couple decent hits in that one. And a Lanor Mentor Foil and Cloud Sprite. All right, so we did get a couple decent cards. I don't think that's $30 worth of cards. I could be wrong. I haven't looked up Times for Remastered prices in a while either. Flagstones, though, is a great, uh, great uh, land to put in most white decks, especially mono white. You want a Flagstones in there. But um, good card, good card. Panharmonica also is worth a little bit, I, th I believe. So still, I don't know. The last reprint here might have might have knocked it down, but I believe it's still worth a little bit. So couple decent cards in the Time Spire Remastered pack. But as you see, uh, so this is the third one. If you haven't seen the other two openings, go back and look at those. It's it's the typical scam. They they make it look like you're going to get something fabulous and you're just left with overpaying for basic packs that uh, you either swing and miss or you might get lucky on. And that's with everything. I mean, I would have much rather spent the $90 I spent on the three of these on a booster box where I'm a little more sure about what i'm gonna get you know you know you're gonna get a couple hits in a booster box you know i would have definitely rather especially right now with the kamigawa boxes i would have much rather gotten a kamigawa box and gotten my money back than uh bought these three and lost money on them so it's up to you if you like the the gambling aspect of it these are a big gamble but it's one of those house is always going to win gambles the odds of you getting a, a big pack or a big hit are pretty slim so I wouldn't waste your money on these. Uh, I wasted mine, so you don't have to kind of thing. So, anyways, check out the description below. There's a lot of good links in there. Save your money, get your cash back on all your purchases. All those links really help out the channel, and I truly appreciate it when you use those. Everything's legit. I wouldn't do it, put it in there if it wasn't going to give you some kind of value or if it was any kind of scam or anything. I, don't, I wouldn't do that. So, thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.